Hello explorers and welcome back to the Exploration Nation. I'm Mark and today we are back for the second map of the trilogy of Arcacia. And yeah, so if you missed the first one, uh, just uh, check out my channel. I will have a playlist titled Arcacia, uh, the trilogy or something like that. Uh, just click there, watch the first um, three parts I think it was. But yeah, anyways, I hope uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that tri uh, that uh, first map. Um, it kind of was a little bit slow, uh, so because of that, I'm kind of hoping for great things in this map. Uh, or else I'm kind of going to have second thoughts about whether or not I want to play the third one. Uh, but anyway, just like last map, uh, I have the description pulled up on my phone. And this is a very short description, so I'll read it anyway. Uh, this map is the second of three. You are on a mission to figure out exactly what happened to Silas Morrow or what he actually is. So he was a character from the previous map and he is coming again in this map, I guess. He plays a factor in something huge. You just have to figure out the big secret. To solve the mystery, you have to travel the unfathomable, unfathomable jungle. Here, many horrors await you. Will you survive? What will you figure out about Silas? So yep, uh, presets, uh, normal mode, no cheats, you know, the same stuff as previous map, uh, same routine. But anyway, uh, I deleted the previous map, and now let us continue with Arcacia, the Foretold Prophecy, second map of two. Okay, so this one, I mean, the thumbnail for the map was a jungle, so I'm kind of not surprised that this takes place in a jungle. Uh, but yeah, anyway, same thing as last time. Step here, your game mode has been updated. Uh, spawn. Step on pressure plates like this one to get valuable information about the area you are in, just like last time. Also, remember that gold nuggets and gold ingots are currency in this area of Arcacia. Likewise, some of your items from the last map have become scattered. Lastly, remember that you will receive some, uh, some of the objectives in the temple. So, this map does have its similarities to the first one. I mean, you've got this map with renamed things. Uh, we've got the objectives here on the right. Uh, the orange ones are ones that I have to complete. The green ones are optional, but I'm probably going to go for completing all of them anyway. Uh, but something he introduced in this one that wasn't in the previous one is that gold nuggets and gold ingots are now currency. So we'll see if there's like villagers that want to trade or something like that, but you know, we'll see. So ender chests appear uh, just like last time. You must be playing on 1.8. I am indeed. Uh, these are your sti starting items. Take what you want. Use the maps in the chest to your advantage. Also, be careful. So yeah, uh, Arcacia, Prophecy of the Ancient Power. All right, so this time we start off with basically useless sword. So yeah, this is kind of a downgrade from the previous time. Last time I think we had full iron or something of sorts. Oh, I grabbed that out of Mindplex habits. But yeah. Oh, the timekeeper's key. And bottled regeneration, of course. And then the maps, based on how it was last time, I don't know if we're going to actually need them. But yeah, let's keep them anyway. And then the maps, hopefully this time I'm actually going to have some form of use for them. Because last time I kind of glanced at them at the beginning, but after that I just did stuff on my own anyway. Okay, so let's read the books first. Um, so, not the basically useless sword. Arcacia intro. You were in the land of the unwanted in the previous map. Now you are in the unfathomable jungle. This area is riddled with tons of Lyro's troops. So Lyra was that bad guy, or at least I think he's the bad guy that tried to kill us in the previous, right at the end of the previous map. Um, and if I'm spoiling this for you, well, what are you doing here? <laughs> Head back to those videos. Uh, but anyway, let's continue. So he is taking over the area, most likely hiding something or keeping something safe. Again, like the previous map. There is a war amongst the gods starting and time is running out to keep them from destroying the world. Ignis, which is the god we saved at the end of the previous map, uh, should help you fight, but she may be too self-centered at the moment. There is also a temple. This temple has been guarding a prophecy as well as something that could save the world which the prophecy may contain details about. The only issue is how many people are going to try to stop you and how far will they go to succeed? 
It all lies in one person, yet again, Silas Morrow. How does he tie into the rest of the mystery? What the, has he done to protect the biggest secrets of Arcasia? Could he, re, could he truly be alive? I don't know, man. Yeah, I'll leave the intro there. The presets, I mean, yeah, it's kind of same stuff. Gold objectives are mandatory. Silver objectives are optional. If you get all of the objectives, then you have 100% completed the map. You can obtain clues on stepping on gold pressure plates and by opening chests. You get one starting clue here at spawn. Map creator Josh98765. Thanks to everybody else who helped make this map possible. This is map 2. Make sure you've played map 1 before this one, which I have indeed. Uh, so let's drop that in there and let us read the clue now. Hopefully these actually come in handy versus last time. Lyro has stationed guards and other evil beings everywhere. He is guarding something. Something that could stop him from destroying Ignis. Uh, if he could actually win, that is. Okay, so yeah, it's kind of kind of similar. Jeez. Just like I expected. I mean, it's, it's a sequel, so it's kind of obvious as to... Alright, anyway... Oh, and one thing I kind of probably want to mention is that I changed my sprint button from control to Q and my toss item button from Q to control uh, because I rarely toss items. I usually just go like this, and I didn't actually intend to do that. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of something I might as well tell you. Uh, so this time there's actually a bit of direction. So this is Junglewood Lake, I think. Boat launch that way, fishing platform that way. Aldur that way and Wispy Water this way. I mean, I guess we'll go this way. Why not? Uh, so there's a dock down there, and that's a zombie spawner. That's for sure. Tier 3 Earth Guardian. So I'm guessing this kind of ties into the way the previous map was. I don't know if that's a spawner or if it's just supposed to... Nope, it's a spawner. I'm out. I thought it was just a few that I had to end up killing. This bridge is very unstable. It could break at any moment, such as right now. That's great. It's pretty, pretty fascinating. Uh, Wispy Water and Aldor. Alright, I'm not really going to use these directions, probably. Uh, I don't really like that it's situated in a jungle, though. I will be honest with you. I preferred it when the planes were kind of... Um, or it was kind of like planes instead of like this. Uh, but it is the unfathomable, unfathomable jungle. I'm surprised I can actually say that word. Uh, do I need food is the question. I'm not sure. Is this another spawner place? I, I'm going to assume it is. In which case I probably want to stay away. Are you a tier 3 guy? I don't know. Hello? Yep, tier 3 Earth Guardian. Wait, was that... But does, but does that mean that there's like sea guardians or water guardians? Or, that's kind of the same thing, actually. I'm gonna shut up now. And yeah, I'm kind of currently stuck here. Do, does the spawner still see me from here? That's what I want to know. And can I actually kill these guys? That's another thing I kind of want to know. Yeah, there's a lot of them. It appears as if they're still spawning. I could be wrong, though. Oh, they're smart. Since when are zombies so intelligent? They're supposed to be stupid! They're zombies! Then again, the mob AI kind of was improved, so. And yeah, another thing is that for some reason the mob AI has also been unimproved uh, when it comes to swimming in water. Oh. My sword's gone! Yeah! That's what I wanted. Uh, the inhabitants here like to keep things simple and don't always like to use modern technologies. Uh, does that include providing me with weapons? 
Oh, no hunger. Welcome to Wispy Water Village. Welcome to Wispy Water Village. Double welcome there. Thanks. I feel very appreciated already. Unless, of course, you decide to provide death. In which case, I'm not very happy anymore. Um, please have a weapon for me. Ancient glass shard. Uh, oh, food. That's good. Some repairs to my armor if I'm ever going to need that. Which I don't think I will. And then, gold nugget. Thought I heard something. Furnaces don't have anything. Alright. Um, an evil has come here. Stay out, chief. Chief Keef. Hello, Chief Keef. No Chief Keef here? Okay. I mean, I guess there's not much I can do about that, can I? Uh, if this is anything like the previous map, I'm not going to need the, what do you call it, the region potions, but I'll keep them just in case. Nice. And then a splash potion of region. What do you have? Redstone wand. That's like the previous map. The chief's house. Hello, chief. Chief Keef. Sharpness book. Might come in handy. I don't know. It's not an old draft anymore. That's nice, I guess. Um, Alright, have I visited this place yet? Don't want to step on the pressure plate just yet. Arrows, rabbit hide, seeds. Seeds I'm probably not going to need. Boat, in reality, I won't need. Um, sharpness one, rabbit hide, arrows. Arrows I'll keep, obviously. Keep my bow in handy. And food over there. Regen. Actually, I prefer over there. Compass. That kind of leads me to spawn, so I don't think I'm going to need that. Furnaces, again, don't have anything. Uh, this is just a wooden sword, not a practically useless sword. So maybe it is useful. Alright, does this spawn things? Okay, of course it does. I was expecting that. Wait, what? This area is where people of Wispy... Uh, where the people of Wispy Water Village, how can they live without doors? Weird. Mwahahaha, was slain by fire-breathing horror. Yay! I love fire-breathing horrors. They're like the greatest thing ever. And I, I should probably set my Skype to do not disturb. And it's raining on my parade. I did blow up my bridge. And I can't parkour to it either. It's not very good. Alright, let's get out of here. How about that? I think that'll be a rather good idea, to be honest. Alright, let's kind of head over here. I'm already a little bit lost. Actually, no, spawns right there. Um, I lied. Um, does this house have anything I could use? Apparently it does. Lots of spoiled fish. I mean, it looks cooked to me. Uh, I don't really know what, you, what you're thinking about, but... I mean... I mean, I guess... He knows what he's talking about, right? Let's close the door. Uh, Miles Isleweather. Oh, and this guy, this time he didn't put beds because he probably wants it to remain night or something. I don't know. I am Miles Isleweather. I built this little fishing lodge because it gets crowded and ethicule, some, ethicule sometimes. So is this ethicule? I don't know. Now it is hard to visit regularly without all of the evil going on. It is hard for me to scavenge for fruits. I think fruit is fruit, plural. Fruit. No, fruits. Whatever. Uh, I feel like I could get kidnapped. So much for trying to find peace and harmony in, sna in nature. Okay, nice story. I don't really want to know about your life story. Oh, redstone wand is actually necessary. And then wispy water is not. But, yeah. Uh, do I need to drop anything in here? I guess I'll do that. And that. And that. Hmm. Timekeeper's key. I don't really know what I'm going to need that for. Oh, two keys. Maybe I will need that. Okay, let's just keep it. I'm not risking. Alright. So, 
Uh, I don't remember where that place of the place was that I just was at. Uh, maybe I should actually use my map this time. Don't know. What do you guys think? How about I don't? Uh, okay, I found my way back. Let's not step on that pressure plate this time, or else Lyro is gonna completely kill me with his flaming idiot. Well, actually, not really idiot. I mean, he was kind of committed to kill me or something, but... Yeah, I don't really appreciate it. And then his evil laughter kind of made it a whole lot worse, to be honest. Alright. Aldor. Am I at Aldor? Of course I'm not. Uh, somewhat dangerous woods. That seems like a pretty great place to me. Um, okay, so I'm at the Wispy Water Village, and the rest of it is just jungle. Just plain old jungle. Wait, but what are these red things? Are they the fires? Maybe these fires have some sort of significance. Okay, I'm able to deactivate them. Oh, it could just be that they're... Yeah, maybe it's just they're here. I'll try and maybe... I don't know if I should waste my time doing this, though. Maybe if I disable all the fire, there's some crazy command fandangled stuff that will spawn in Lyro. Of course, they won't. I mean, I'm kind of too early in the game, but... Might as well try it out. You never really know what the map creator had in mind. Alright. Let's get rid of the fire. I mean, it's probably going to help me out anyway to get rid of all this. Maybe I won't die. Nothing? Yeah, I expected that. Uh, oh, so they're not as bright now. Fancy stuff. Okay, so nothing in that waterfall. Or behind it, in it, whatever it is that floats your boat. Um, okay, so the Wispy Water Village was in this direction. Let's adjust a little bit here. There you go. Noises. Don't appreciate it. Alright, Wispy Water Village. Should be coming up right about now. Don't step on the plate, though. Alright, head in this direction, kind of. Careful not to die as well. I could kind of just scale this entire area, maybe find something. You never really know. It is a jungle, though, so... Not exactly excited. Okay, but the question is, where do I, or where are points of interest? This seems like exposed rock. Maybe that'll provide me with some, something. No? I mean, I kind of expected as much from the way these maps are, but... Oh, well. Uh, am I still on the Wispy Water Village? Let's head up there. How about that? Let's keep the sword in our hand. That'll probably be a good idea, too. Oh, you know what I should do? Like that. That'll be a lot better. Or a lot more convenient, rather, I think. Um, so the Wispy Water Village was in that direction. Nice little punching animation. Uh, but I don't. what I don't understand is he doesn't appreciate block plate or block removing, and yet he uh he sets you in survival like i don't i don't really know why he didn't set me into adventure surrounding wilderness i mean wilderness is kind of just wilderness so probably don't want to be there that's also surrounding wilderness um somewhat dangerous woods i was kind of just there aldor there seems to be something right here, so maybe I should head there. Alright. So yeah, the maps actually do come in handy, considering the fact I'm in a jungle. Because previously it was just a... kind of just a plane. So there wasn't really anything too difficult about maneuvering that. Ah, uh, welcome to Wispy Village, yep. Yeah. Um, okay, so Eldur 
is that way, I would assume. And my computer fan is going nuts. Played a lot of Mindplex before this, so... That's probably why the computer doesn't like me being on it for so long. But yeah, I spend a lot of time playing video games. Probably more than I should, but... Owes wells. Um, let's head up here, I guess. Am I in the area of Eldur yet? I don't think I am. That's fine, though. I will get there. Unless this happens. Is there any hardcore parkour I can do? I guess not. Alright. Let's go here, then. Ow. Yeah, this is the... This is what I mean by... Jungle. I don't like jungles. Like, putting a treehouse somewhere in it is fun, fun times, but... Apart from that, jungles are quite annoying. If I do say so myself. Alright, so this seems to be a dead end. I don't like that. And the spoiled fish is doing wonders for me. And keeping me alive. So I don't know why it's spoiled, but... Or why it's considered spoiled, but... If the chief, Keef, doesn't like it, then... Okay, I should probably stop saying chief Keef for fear of copyright. And that cave is probably completely unnecessary to my quest. Alright, yeah, maybe this path will be more kind to me and actually lead me to Aldur. What? That noise really scared me right there. That's a silverfish, I'm pretty sure. And I don't like it one bit. Okay, so where am I? Temple of the Unbirthed? Whoa, that's a big temple. Somewhat dangerous woods. Yeah. Seemed like a good place, considering that this entire place is very dangerous woods. Killer beetle. Okay, so that's what it is. And there's a spawner. Let's get out of here. Uh, but there's a world border, so I can't go that way. Probably want to stay away from those killer beetles, though. Because they will definitely live up to their name. Whether they're killer beetles or silverfish, they, they do a good job of killing people. I can tell you that. Gosh dang it, there's more. Somewhat dangerous... My butt. These are very dangerous woods. Go away. I don't want to die. I'm going to crouch in this cave. Maybe they won't see me. Well, actually, they definitely won't see me. Let's pull up the map to Aldur. I'm still not close. I really want to be close, though, because these killer beetles are... Scaring me quite a fair bit. They're startling me. Um, not an Eldur yet. Why is this so difficult to maneuver? Please don't provide any more killer beetles for me. I don't want it. Those killer beetles can live in peace. I will live in peace on my own. They will live in peace. O okay, I'm in Eldur. No! I hear killer beetles! Get away from me! Where are you? There you are. Why are there why are they everywhere? Does Lyro know my weakness? Because I have a strange feeling that he does. Okay, give me a second, guys, I'll cut over to where I am on Do Not Disturb or something. Alright guys, let's kill off this guy. Or fend him off rather, not kill him off. That doesn't make any sense. And I don't have money. Or I don't have food. Jeez. Of course I have money. I just don't have food. Uh, am I allowed to break melons? I mean, he didn't really remove them from the map, so I'm going to assume that I can. 
If I can't, I'm sorry that I'm hungry. <laughs>